Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip. Today, we are going to be talking about Crypto.com's recent FUD-oriented story that came out. The Financial Times is reporting that Crypto.com has a insider trading team on staff going on right now, which is highly controversial. And this is what the Financial Times is alleging. They have unnamed sources. We're going to dive into this, guys, and investigate whether this is fact or FUD and what's really going on. Looking at the price of CrowCoin and, of course, the crypto markets overall. Uh, given that this story is breaking today, we'll take a deep dive on that and more in today's video. If you guys like the content, smash the like, subscribe to this channel. We are giving away $1,000 tomorrow to one lucky subscriber now that we're over 10,000 subscribers. So buckle up, join us on our live stream tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, guys. Let us hop in. Crypto's flat. We are below $30,000, but we are fortunately above $25,200 for Bitcoin. This is a key spot for us to be holding right now. As for Crow, uh, you know, this thing has been pretty steady. You look at where we're at, rank number 35. This is right where we've kind of been throughout majority of this bear market, at least as we've gotten towards the bottom. This is about as bad as it's gotten for Kronos. I think we got close to 40 at one point and we got close to like 30 again, but we're kind of sitting right at 35. And we've seen not a lot of news. There's been some partnerships for Kronos with Amazon Web Services, with Google Cloud, uh, all these other partnerships we've seen. But we really haven't seen a lot of FUD since the FTX collapse and people worried about exchanges being insolvent, right? commingling with funds, all these fears. Well, now there's new fears for crypto.com alleged by this publication right here, Financial Times. And of course, they use the, the famous Matt Damon commercial that everybody likes to, to rip on for some reason. But uh, here they go. Crypto.com, the exchange endorsed by Hollywood actor Matt Damon, deploys internal teams to trade tokens for profit. They deploy internal teams to trade tokens for profit. What an incredible statement that is to deploy internal teams. Are they really doing that? If they were, that could be concerning. In all fairness, that could be concerning if that's true. But let's read more. The latest sign of potential conflicts of interest in the digital assets industry. It is hot to rip on crypto right now, guys. Uh, they talk a little bit about it and they say that essentially this is going on. If you look at, they kind of tell a story on how in most markets, exchange match buyers uh, with sellers and the most competitive transparent price market making and prop trading are usually conducted by separate private companies. So see what they're kind of trying to do. They're trying to say, hey, this is like a commingling situation, but we don't even know if this is happening. Well, let's like look in this article if we can see some sources, well, we can see crypto.com saying uh, in response to this article, crypto.com said that they had crypto.com said that employees had not been asked to lie uh, to other market participants. Crypto.com said we have an internal market maker that operates on the crypto.com exchange. That internal market maker is treated exactly the same as third party market makers that ident identically facilitate tight spreads and efficient markets on our platform. So in other words, they're saying, you know, hey, this is not a controversial place. That's another quote. They're saying this is not true. They are denying these claims. And so when you start looking at, you know, who is this by, you don't see any sources in this article. And now in a response from Decrypt, uh, they're talking about this story. And you can see right here, the Financial Times reported that on Monday, Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange, crypto.com, operates uh, propriety trading and marketing making teams. The report cites five unnamed people with direct knowledge of the company's trading desk. Who are these people? People that you don't know the name of aren't real people in my mind. And so what do we have here, guys? We have another case of FUD. This is FUD, guys. We have unnamed sources. Why? Because they're not people. And if they are, these people will come out. And if this is true, this could be a problem for crypto.com in the short term, uh, possibly in the long term, right? I don't believe this is true because, again, these are unnamed sources. This is bandwagon FUD, guys. 
Binance has been getting fudded. You don't see the SEC talking about uh, crypto.com in any way right now, but they're certainly coming after Binance. They're coming after Coinbase. Crypto.com has been out of the FUD limelight lately, but here we go. We pop back up and what a change of attitude it is from the days back in November of 2020, 2021 when Crow was exploding in market value. Crypto.com marketing campaigns were paying off. It was a beautiful thing. Well, the truth is, guys, is that Crypto.com's marketing partners are the exact same. The real difference here is that we're in a bear market. And so as the bull market comes and excitement comes about crypto, I believe that the marketing campaigns will pay off once again. And I will believe that, you know, until we see names that this is FUD, guys, I think that this is more FUD. The Financial Times should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, this is irresponsible reporting. This is the reporting that can potentially make people lose money. But fortunately for Crypto.com holders, the price is not even acting on account of this news. The, the Crypto.com coin holders do not care one bit whatsoever about this. And that is excellent to see. The strong hands in this market as we are at a point which looks like a point of capitulation. We are holding this firm right now, even on a day where this story is breaking. This story has been out for hours now. I just got a chance to make a video on it, but I wanted to relay this information to you guys so you got the full scoop. Uh, no, these are unnamed sources. Why? Because maybe these sources aren't real. Maybe this is FUD. Maybe this is fake news and attacks. Maybe there's something to be explained here, but we'll have to see how it unfolds. As for now, crypto.com holders are holding strong because we shake off the foot. We've seen so many lies in crypto that as crypto believers, you know, we wait for the full story to unfold and until we have verified sources, you know, let's let's kind of wait to see how things play out and how they really go. FTX, that turkey is cooked. Crypto.com, Binance, they are hanging in strong. Coinbase is looking strong, guys. The SEC is on uh, you know, on guard right now, and they are looking like they might be losing some of these cases that are coming down the pipeline, like the XRP case, uh, and much, much more guys. So I think it's FUD. I'm hanging in there. I am dollar cost averaging. I get a paycheck, uh, probably towards the end of this week. I will be dollar cost averaging into crypto tokens. What should I buy? Let me know in the comments down below what tokens you think I should buy in the comments. Let me know what you're buying down below guys. That's all I got in this one. I am crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, folks, you got to remember to DCA, HODL, and of course, we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I got two videos for you right here if you want to check them out. Peace.